TMR from the Crawfish Junkies, and I'm going to show you how to read a crawfish pole. So first, you get about arm width a line. It can't. It doesn't have to be braided line. It can be monofilament line. It could be four pounds or anything. It's just just got to be big enough and strong enough to hold the craw the crawfish. So first, you have to tie the string under the ball of the sewing needle. You just tie it about twice. You, you don't. You only gotta tie it about twice for it to be tight on there, because you'll have a fish. But you'll have to. So when you got your sewing needle tied on there, when you got your line tied on the sewing needle, you can cut the leader if you want to. But I cut in the leader because it makes me feel neater. Makes it look more professional when you cut the line on there. So when you got this done there, you've got you've got to have you can have some gulp worms, you can have some gulp minnows. These are four these are four inches, ten centimeters smelly worms, and they're freshwater worms. And what I like to do is I stick I give me just a little tiny split shot, and I just stick it on there. Stick it on there. So it's like this. But it's gotta it's gotta be able to slide and adjust with the current of your thing. And then when that is all finished, you take out one of these worms. You gotta make sure they have tails on them or else the crawfish won't go after them. They could be they don't have to be this big of worms, but they, or these big of minnows, but it, it could be recommended. And then you take your thing and you stick it right through the top of the the minnow. You gotta kinda make sure it's straight on there, or else they won't bite it. And then what you do is you'll just cast it down there in the hole and you gotta let it sit there and then you'll pull it out. And that's the end of the rig. Next video we'll show you how to fish them.